Hey there, everybody. Thought I would show you a little something that I like to do every once in a while when I can get out. I'm at, uh, I'm at the local forest preserve closest to my house. This is the uh, closest one I have around me. And uh, I like it because I discovered not too long ago that it actually has a natural spring that's running in it. And uh, I found that out by going to findaspring.com because I was looking for a way to uh, harvest my own spring water. So I want to show you a little something here. You can see how that water is just dripping down over these rocks. And then we'll get a little bit closer because we got to go up a hill. And it's obviously winter too, so you don't see the water running too strong right now. It's pretty clogged up with leaves and snow. So let's go up to the top of the hill. And you can see as I'm walking that all I'm doing is I'm just walking higher and higher, closer to the source of the water. And then look what we've got here. We've got a little leak in the system. <laughs> and this is where I'm able to get all my spring water from. It's interesting too, because I actually have never been able to find the source of it. You can see this is where the leak is and that's where I'm able to get water. But you know, it goes, well, it comes all the way from this pipe and this pipe just keeps going up and up and up. And even in the warmer months, even in the warmer months, I still can't tell where it comes from. I've never found the actual source, but uh, it's pretty interesting. And it is spring water. You taste it, you could tell that it is, uh, it's completely clean. There's nothing in it, nothing added, that's for sure. So let's, uh, let's actually get some of this stuff. I've got my jugs here. These are just uh, little things I had lying around the house. It's pretty much all I've got. So then I'll basically just, hopefully you guys can see this well enough. I'll basically just dig this area out a little bit just to fit them in there. Ton of leaves from fall. Ooh, and it's always ice cold, always. Winter or not, always ice cold. That's basically what I do. I mean, yeah, usually I can prop it up nicer than that, but you get the point. I'm gonna have to hold it today. So yeah, pretty interesting, isn't it? Um, yeah, and what I like about it, the reason why I actually started looking for ways to get spring water is, uh, it's basically just, it's untainted water. It's not, um, it's not water that's had anything added to it. It's, uh, it's not like tap water that's been sitting in, you know, pipes that have lead in them and have just been sitting within those pipes motionless for years. Um, Cause that actually hurts the water. It actually takes the life out of it and it uh, reduces its, um, its effectiveness basically on hydrating us and nourishing us so takes a little while for this to fill up that's okay though it's a fun little thing to do i originally got this idea from a guy named daniel vitalis he runs a podcast well it's done now he, I think he stopped doing it in like 2017, unfortunately. It's the best podcast I've ever listened to. It's called Rewild Yourself. You can still find it online. You can still find it on uh, Spotify. It is the, uh, it is easily the best health podcast I've ever listened to, no doubt. He turned me on to this and uh, I'm certainly not going back. I, uh, I want to find as much spring water as I can from now on.
just keep coming more and more often. So yeah, that's that. This one's mostly done. I'll do the other jug as well in another minute. But yeah, that's basically it. I would definitely try it. Um, you can you can drink this water straight out of that you know little spout wherever you find it, and it's completely clean. It, it's it's in the taste. You do not have to filter it at all. I sometimes will filter it if I see anything in it, like things floating in it. But um, you don't have to. It's completely clean. That that is what real water is. Constantly flowing, never stops retains its mineral content. It's not filtered. It's not stripped in any way like our tap water is. Uh, yeah, so try it out for yourself. Go again, go to findaspring.com. It's still upkept. And uh, I believe Daniel Vitalis is actually the one who runs that website. He still does. You can type in where you live and you can just search for a park, a forest preserve, whatever. It'll show you where they are and there will even be reviews. There will be people talking about it. Great place. Anyway, have a good rest of the day. Talk to you later.